Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, Rahim. My name is Amir Shahzad, and today again we are with new uh, video like our total session TS09 plus. So this video is uh, regarding our uh, uh, stake out arc with the reference uh, arc method. So we already have a discussed in my previous video how we can make our arc with the stake, but uh, now we have a uh, second video how we can stake out with the reference arc. So here we will do discuss uh, the circle. So for example, I already have a one draw circle of the paper. I'll explain on the paper. So here I have a paper and uh, in the paper, if, if you see in the top, I write the reference arc. This is our uh, uh, topic today. And the, in the reference arc, today we discuss about the stake arc, stake out arc. So on the side, I'll uh, put one point that I call the center of the circle. And then I uh, mark one uh, another point And that point is from the center. Distance is 1.9. Uh, 981 so the base on that one this radius uh, I take a total length uh, of this circle is 12.44 so I'll stake out this uh, circle with my instrument we have a uh, four options with the none or equally divide this circle if I have to setting out this point equally I can make a equally uh, and if I need to sum, uh, for example, this total length is 12.444 and uh, I, I have to mark the points each 2 meters. So then I have uh, two options. This point 444 I can uh, uh, equally divide in the first point and the last point. And other one uh, I have, uh, I will use, I have to use this point uh, four four in the first point. So my first uh, distance from uh, here starting curve is not a 2 meter, it's a 2 point. 444 four, four. another all equally 2 meter 2 meter I can mark on the side so let's go with my with me on the instrument we will check with the instrument how we will do and here I have a ground where I I, I need to mark this uh, circle so is the first point that is my center and this point, uh, second point, I will uh, measure by the measuring uh, meters. So these two points I already measure with the prism in my instrument. Okay, let's go to instrument and we will discuss this one in instrument. So here I have an instrument like a total station TS09 plus. So in the middle of the display, you can see there is a program. So I'll enter in the program. And then we have a uh, four different pages survey survey plus i can change with the touch or i can change from this button and reference uh, el and road so today we are talking about the reference so this about the reference line we already done uh, discussed with the last three videos so today we uh, we are going to discuss reference arc so what i will do i simply touch on display or I can move this my cursor with this key button so I'll press ok to enter the uh, reference arc and when I enter the reference arc there is a uh, description about this one the writing on this is define a reference arc set out and check the points related to the arc as you can see this red line is the arc line and here you can see two with the like a construction line you have uh, these two options this is over uh, uh, arc reference so on the second display there is a configuration i'll change the uh, configuration we have a option set a job set a station setup and start i already set my job and here in, i don't need to set a station uh, just simply i go f4 with the start so with that uh, this uh, arc reference we have uh, some more options center start points start and radius point and the three points so now we are going to discuss center start options so in this way we I'll, i am going to press f4 for continue and then i need to go my points so i have a two points before if i press f4 and then in f2 i have a list and the, in the list i have a three points one is a station point second is number one and number two which i measure by my instrument so what i will do i'll press f1 to see this uh, the coordinates now uh, you can see now currently time is 5006 
so around the nine minutes before I observe this point so I'll press continue with these coordinates and then continue this is my center of the red, uh, circle so second point is number two point this one also I press F4 or the second option uh, second uh, page I can go with the list or F1 for the find I press F find because I already have this point inside the instrument so I'll press F4 for continue now I have a same thing what I show on the paper start point and the center of uh, uh, this circle so radius of this one 1.981 and the total arc length it means total circle length is 12.44 so if I have to go to stake out the point uh, sorry here you can see we have a three option new arc if I need to define new arc I can simply press F1 and if I need to measure only verbally points anywhere so I'll go with the F4 with the measure points but now in this time I'm going with the stake F3 so I'll press F3 so then I have again uh, four methods stakeout points which we have discussed before and the second is the stakeout arc so in this video we are going to discuss stakeout arc with F2 I'll press F2 so automatically instrument give me the third point because first two point I already have so and then there is an option for the distribution how I can distribute this circle in the points so I have a four option one none none mean whatever I can mark point any distance I can mark second is equally equally mean this uh, what we have a arc uh, length is 12.44 this one is when I put uh, press uh, click the F4 then it will be equally divide this circle and this one start arc mean what we have a 12.44 so this uh, additional point 444 this one we uh, this will add in the first points and otherwise the fourth option is a start and end so none equally distance it will be uh, equally divided in the first point and the last point so downside we have a arc length whatever I have required the stakeout point I'll put the stakeout value for example I put the 2 meter and then you can see this is the line I put the value of the arc and then if I go to the for example I go with the start point no I have a line is different why because I give this value to the circle equally 2 to meter but the, my total length is not a uh, equal so total length is 12.44 so that's why it change is the first value in 12 uh, 2.44 and other r points in equally 2 to meter so what i will do i'll press f4 for continue and here i have my uh, display as you can see my line is 2.444 first point the second point 4.44 6 uh, 36 and equally this one add by the uh, 2 to meters so here downside here offset if I need to offset I can mark the offset but now I will not mark any offset so simply I'll do what I, I have to do I'll go with the first point with the length from the start is 2.44 so what I'll do I'll bring this HZ in a zero degree I'll my, I'm going to uh, power on my laser so the person easily judge the location Uh, come two meter from the center check laser come on the laser location I'll press F2 for distance so I need 4 cm to backward focus up when I range my star uh, prism then I'll bring my laser on the prism and then I'll press again F2 with the distance so here I got my points mark this point no the first point the number uh, the, this is my first point but uh, on the uh, this job is a third point I already marked 
with the one milli. So we will go to the near this point and check with the meter if it is correct or not. Now I am here on the site as you see before I uh, explain this is my center and this is my the start point and here I have a first point as you can see we check with the meter distance this exactly what we have required uh, 1 meter 98 centi and this because we are put this point with the spray expand more the, so this is a, actually the same uh, distance what we put in the instrument hopefully I clear this uh, method how we can stake out arc with this method